Hey everyone, welcome back to another Counterside video. Today's video, we're going to take a look at Nayel Blue Steel. Okay, and other things on the agenda. But before that, if you wanted updated Counterside videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, guys, so I'll cover a lot of things actually for this uh, crystal ball or this, uh, this series of leaks. So again, just to recap, we have episode 6 to be released on October 13. I won't cover October 6 because uh, I mentioned a couple of times in my previous videos. And Niall Blue Steel will be dropping also on October 13th. We'll discuss more on her later. Um, we have, though, a rerun of Ayuna's Awakened Banner. So for those who haven't gotten her the last time now is actually your nearest chance to get her so it's she's going to be out on october 13th i'm, go, I'm also going to pull for her for my free to play account so next also is another chance for you guys to get regina so she will also have a rerun for her banner which is also dropping on october 13th so these are four events on the 13th and on the 20th we have additional events but before that again a reminder there's a season pass already on the 20th for Lyudmila. next is also the banner for alex on the 20th as well we also have alpha tricks challenge mode so we it's going also going to be out on october 20th um just an update on our challenge mode then chloe's credit search so gold plus info event also dropping on October 20th. Let's take a look more on what we're getting with Nayel. Actually, her name is pretty much very cool. Let's check out what she'll give us actually before um, her banner drops on the 13th. Okay, so we have here Nayel, Blue Steel. Um, she's a counter, but kind of a more expensive counter at four cost. So she is a top tier striker who can not only uh, deal a lot of damage but also act as an off tank because of her immunity built into, built into her special attack. She can silence enemies with her special and bind them with her ultimate. Her, chan her charge acts similar to a Hilde and it's, it allows her to jump over units and attack the ship directly if deployed right. Okay, so... In terms of KR, she is a 5 out of 10 in terms of PvP, uh, sorry, PvE, then you should get her for PvP. Because for PV, PvE, she actually has a really high cost for a striker and her kit is mainly, um, mainly for PvP um, battles only. Okay, oh, but for PvP, she scores a high of a 9 out of 10. So future proofness, she's good if you are expecting her to be uh, brought in PvP but not in PvE. Okay, let's go to her skills guys and let's see what she does. Okay, so we have here Nayel. Let's take a look at uh, stats are in Korean. Let's go to her skill preview. Okay, so Nayel Blue Steel skill set will mainly be a, a basic attack. Let's take a look at her basic attack. So swings her sword, inflicting AOE damage, and um, more or less with that many of swords, she actually can't use all of them. So I was actually expecting her a double wielding, you know, um, attacker, but the, but based on what I see. She only uses one. Okay, for her passive, it's called Ethereal Overdrive. So after every basic attack, she delivers an enhanced attack. Inflicting AoE damage increases her attack speed by 50% for 5 seconds. Okay, if any unit in the field is killed, can't be renewed during buff. So at the skill level 5, increases enhanced attack up by up to 75% in in inverse proportion to current hp special skill attack also counts okay let's take a look at her special skill guys so uh sorry this is her ultimate let's let's go back later to her special skill by the way her ultimate is cool looks cool 
and this is her special skill so drives an x mark x marks the spot animations are good blue and yellow so for her special charges forward and inflicts aoe damage on contact with the first enemy in her path seals the affected target skills so that they can't use or silences them so that they can use their skills for six seconds bosses excluded okay that is why also she's not really good in pve because her her special skill is not applicable to bosses then let's take a, another look at her ultimate so again for her ultimate what a smug look lots of swords as usual blue in color so call blade catastrophe so it's a 44 second cooldown summon spirit swords as you see there it's revolving inflicting aoe damage on and around the target okay at skill level five blinds all enemies for four seconds after the skill so again not only does she do silence she also does blind so i think probably the four cost justifies her well hopefully we can you know i can showcase her in pvp once i get her but more or less her kit is kind of good the four cost is kind of heavy as long as she's that tanky i think she would be a good investment for you guys okay so anyway guys for those of you who have stalked this far in this video please consider subscribing also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss any counter side videos also guys don't forget to put a like to this video um take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here let's take one last look See you guys.